Okay. If you have a Dell XPS 15, specifically, what I have is the L502X, and you want to replace the hard drive, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'll provide a link to the Dell documentation that will take you as far as removing the cover faceplate here, but it's not going to show you how to take out the hard drive. So first, you remove the battery from the back, which I did, and there's going to be one little screw which you unscrew with Phillip, small Phillips screwdriver here, and then there's going to be two tabs, you'll see this in the instructions, that you push, and as you push the two tabs from the back, you'll see the face plate moving. So what you do is you take your fingers, literally your fingernail, and just kind of work your way through the edge so you hear some popping noises. All right, so what you don't want to do is force it open. You just want to work your finger through and have it open slowly around the edges. So what I did is I, I already done that. Next thing you want to be aware of is you don't want to pull it off. Dell doesn't tell you this. You don't want to pull it, yank it straight off. You just want to flip it over. All right, because there's two cables holding the face plate to the mouse pad and to the lighting around the face plate. So here's the hard drive. What you want to do is remove this screw. One, two, three, four. And I've already done that to save time. And then you slide the hard drive back and lift up because it's connected to the laptop. You could use one of these tabs to lift it up. Okay. What you'll notice is when you lift it up, there's going to be four screws, two on each side, that's securing the hard drive to the bracket. So you want to use the same Phillips screwdriver to unscrew that. Okay, just the four screws. So the, the hard drive is going to pop out. You put in the new one. And then you just reassemble it uh, by working the steps backward. Alright, hope that helps.